I would say uh, it's about emptying yourself. Because, like, as we've talked before, like, we are conduits. We are vessels for these higher consciousnesses. Mm -hmm. And if we get caught up in our own, uh, you know, I don't mean this in a disparaging way, but I can't think of another word, petty desires or fears, um, then we are only tuning in to the lower vibrations. And the higher consciousnesses, being higher, vibrated higher vibrations. So I'd like to just offer like an, an image for you all. Um, I, I was going to draw it, but I don't think it's really necessary. You know how uh, when you look at comic book art, if you're looking at a comic book, if you really look down at the color, the color isn't solid. It's a bunch of tiny little dots and there's all this space in between. Is, anyone, is everyone aware of that? No. <laughs> right? That's, you know, that's how they color comic books. They don't actually color it in. They just put a tiny bunch to little dots and when you really look at it you can see little dust anyways that's essentially how we are those are atoms right and atoms are 99.999999999999 percent empty space so you can imagine like even just a little tiny nucle nucleus in the middle is only so much matter and then there's all this other space within those spaces exist other realities other beings so just to kind of go off the idea of guides um there are different dimensions different realms of beings that are infinite essentially like in our 3d world we have like plant life we have bacteria life we have animal life we have human life these are different levels of consciousnesses but humans aren't the be all end all there's something higher than us and they vibrate at higher speeds they vibrate in different frequencies and they can move within matter a lot more freely because they are less matter and more light. So our guides that we tune into are the beings that are less matter and more light. And in order to be more light, you need to think and feel in higher vibrations. And that's how you literally change your being into a higher light being. So the guides that people have are usually beings that have ascended from the human state or something similar and learned all those lessons, understood all these things. And now they just like say, why get caught in fear anymore? So they let go of fear. They let go of personal desire. And then they ascend to another level where they vibrate at a different frequency. And then they spend their lives being doing angelic type things like going, helping lower beings ascend as well. So we all have these guides essentially that are with us and are actually building our structure on another level. Like in a sense, we, you know, they're a part of us. So we can tune into them as like a radio frequency. They're a radio frequency that is always there. So when we empty ourselves of like, what question do I have? Or like, what do I want? And just be like, I'm listening. Tell me what I need to hear. When you open yourself and you don't have an attachment to what you hear, letting go of the expectation, then you can actually hear clearly. But if you're like, oh, I really wish my guides would tell me I'm awesome, then you're not going to hear your guides. They're not going to stick around for petty shit like that. They're going to tell you what you need to hear to evolve. So there are other higher beings. You could even say extraterrestrial in a sense because really they're just other dimensional beings in a way as well. But yeah, we can tune into these different beings that are of a higher vibration and they can communicate with us at a level we're not used to because we're usually just used to listening to our logical mind that we've been trained to use we're used to learn uh, learning and only listening to uh you know the the left part of the brain kind of thing just the logic just the ration rationality but when you let go of needing to have everything explained that's when you have like downloadable experiences to kind of way marjan explained that at some point she just felt something come to her she just had it occur to her instantly it wasn't like she thought about it she just knew it in that moment that's how your guides communicate or you're just higher consciousness in in whatever way you want to see it really and yeah they talk about all the different wavelengths of minds and as you change the wavelength of your thinking of your consciousness in general you can tune into different realms of reality now we dismiss this and throw it off as just like you're just in the dream world but that is just another realm of reality as this one is it's just a it's a lower one it's one where you don't obtain a lot of knowledge you don't retain a lot of information from there they're usually quick go quickly and but then there's the astral plane which is a little bit more succinct and uh available to you and 
Yeah, and as you rise up in consciousness, as you rise up in brainwaves, you can connect to higher and higher beings uh, to the point that you just connect to no being and all beings at once. And it's just literally just the infinite frequency, the finest form, the purest knowledge. And, uh, and that's, the, that's the stuff that makes it all, essentially. Yeah, yeah.